welcome to Boomer Life Support. I'm your host, Coach Ken. This is a follow-up video to the first video we did on fall prevention. And uh, today what we're going to be showing you are some actual strategies and techniques that you can practice at home with minimal or no equipment. So no excuses. First, let's review this. And by the way, if you did not see the first video, I recommend you go back and watch that kind of fill in some of the blanks and also read the article in Gringo Tree which goes over this information in much more detail. But we talked about the root causes of falling not necessarily being a loss of balance but the first point was that we need to be able to establish a base of support quickly outside of our center of gravity. The second thing we need to be able to do is have the strength to decelerate our momentum as we start to go to the side or fall forward. So from this platform, I want to show you several strategies for how we're going to chain, uh, train excuse me, both balance, uh, static and dynamic balance, and then some different movements that you can do that will help you move your feet quickly to establish that base of support, and some, at the end, some strengthening exercises to teach your muscles how to react and have the strength to decelerate. So first, static balance. Visualize that I'm in a doorway here. What I'm going to recommend is that you train barefooted. If it's not uncomfortable, if you have bunions or something like that, it's not comfortable, please use shoes. But try to train barefoot. The other thing I want you to do is always have a soft knee and imagine on your foot that you've got a screw behind your big toe, little toe, and your heel, and that those are what are gripping you to the ground. So get yourself a good purchase into the ground. So you're in the doorway, go ahead and have your hands ready if you need to, and then pick one leg up and count slowly to 10. And if you're in Ecuador and you're an English speaker, do it in Spanish. That'll slow you down a little bit. So I've counted to 10, let's say, and then I switch over to the other side. So that's the most basic static balance that we can do. One more little progression on this is to pull the leg up and pause and count to 10 slowly, okay? And if this isn't enough fun, try closing one eye, or even more fun, close both eyes. You'll be surprised how challenging that can be without doing any other movement. So that's our static balance drill for today. Our dynamic balance is just simply an exaggerated walking pattern. If you look on the floor here, we have floor tiles and I've also put an agility ladder that I'm going to use in a minute. But if you start on one side of the ladder and then I step in an exaggerated walking step and I count one, two, three, and I do this. This is an example of a dynamic balance drill. The key point here is start with just stepping, okay? And make sure that your forefoot hits the ground first and then the heel comes right behind it. And we count, one, two, three, and then over to the other side. To jazz this up a little bit, you can simply hop. The same rule applies though. Stick the landing, count to three, slow down. So if you wanna make it more challenging, you can jump wider. You can put socks, rocks, whatever you've got, spread them out in a diagonal pattern on your floor and have fun. Very safe, very effective. All right, band resisted movements. This is uh, a situation where some of you may not have some of these fancy exercise bands that we use. If you don't, find a kid or if you have an old bike inner tube, you can use these as long as it's something that gives a little bit. So. If you put the band around you, I'll just show you a quick progression, that we can come out and you want enough pressure so that if you're on one foot and you stop too long, it would pull you back. So the progression in band resisted movement is gonna be walking against the band. I'm just holding my position, staying up nice and tall, or changing it up a little higher, marching, getting your knees up as high as your waist, or actually skipping, if you remember how to skip, and again, holding your position. Don't let the band pull you back. And then finally, don't run if you're not a runner, but if you are a runner, then go ahead and hold your position and run, okay? 
So that's a good example of band-resisted balance training. The next piece, this little uh, ladder that we've drawn on the floor, this room actually has floor tiles and you could use these. I'm just gonna show you two quick drills. There are hundreds of foot patterns, but this is where the speed comes in. We wanna move our feet quick. So the first one we call one in. So I'm gonna put one foot in this square, one foot in this square, one foot in this square. But in real time, it's gonna look like this. Okay, real quick. The second drill would be two in. So I'm here, it's one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? So it's any drill pattern or foot pattern that you can do where your feet are moving very quickly, crisply. The last piece of this, strategy five, is band or dowel assisted exercise. So we can take this band again, and we talked about developing the strength to decelerate. If I'm in this position and I get in what we call a split stance, where one foot's forward, put my hands on my hips, and I drop down just a little bit, come back up. The band is pulling me back, it's assisting me. So I can drop down pretty deep, it's safe, I'm controlled, keep your feet about hip width apart, go down, pause, and back up. And actually, you wanna control this deceleration. So exaggerate it. One, two, three, four, go down slow, then come back up. So work that on both sides. If you don't have access to a, a high-tech band or an inner tube, you can use a dowel, a broom handle, and or anything that's solid that you can kind of hang on with one side. So whatever foot's forward, put the dowel on the opposite side, this hand on the hip, bending both knees together, and I come down slow, pause, and back up. So that's a very simple, basic uh, split stance, and that will help create that strength, that eccentric strength we were talking about. So if you have any questions, we're gonna be offering an online course that's gonna include a lot of this information, more video and specific workouts for you. Thank you again for watching, and as always, be well, be fit.